of the 14-inch guns on Arizona's number one turret. Arizona had four turrets, each mounted three guns, capable of firing a 2,000-pound projectile almost 20 miles. After the Pearl Harbor attack, the Navy salvaged three of the turrets, but left this one in place on the ship. The corporate memory of that had been lost, however, and when the Park Service took over administration of the site in 1981, they were amazed to discover on their first dives that the guns were still here in place on Arizona. We're here at Arizona's Cutwater, the forwardmost point of the hall. From this point, which is small enough for me to stretch my hand around, the ship's hull extends behind me for more than 600 feet. So this hull this is the final resting place for the thousand sailors and marines who lost their lives on December 7th, 1941. circular structure is barbette number four, which was the foundation for the aftermost guns on Arizona. After the Pearl Harbor attack, the U.S. Navy salvaged the guns from barbette number four and used them as shore-based batteries around Oahu. Today, USS Arizona survivors who pass away but choose to join their shipmates on Arizona are cremated and their ashes interred inside barbette number four. Although there's often concern about the negative effects of Arizona's oil on the environment, evidence from the ship itself suggests that effect may be minimal. For example, this feature was documented in the 1980s and was completely barren, but now supports a vibrant coral colony. Other locations in the ship include soft corals, sponges, and even seahorses, suggesting that the environment within Pearl Harbor has cleaned up substantially over the years. Thank mm -hmm. you. 